Well, hey there, Catherine from CatherinePooler.com, and I have my daughter Eva here with me because we are announcing a new product launch, and this one actually is the one who's responsible for it. Mm -hmm. So today is the day that we add our new product line to the shop. Color Burst! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we worked with Ken Oliver, and the way that these came about was because of this girl right here. Yep. When I was younger, I we got the color burst and I was playing with them and I remember I was so fascinated by them and I loved them. We probably have a video of it. But we probably do. We yeah. gotta go find that video. Yeah. Yeah. But basically when we got the inks and we used the ink refills, she did a technique where she would put it on the paper and then spray it with water. And it kind of reminded me of the color burst. So I just got the idea and it grew from there. Yeah, so she said, she proposed the idea to me and I said, hmm, that's interesting. She said, we should work with Ken Oliver and bring out color bursts in some of our colors. Ken had, walks around with inky fingers all the time. Mm -hmm. I walk around with inky fingers all the time. <laughs> Ken loves color. We love color. Ken loves art. We love art. So it just was kind of a natural thing, right? So we met Ken at Creativation and we mm -hmm. proposed the idea and he thought it was fantastic. So... <laughs> Ken and Eva were on the same page because they both thought we should do Carnival collection first. And Ken decided on Samba, Limoncello, Mardi Gras, and Suede Shoes. And that is the first pack of four with the two sparkles that we're bringing uh, to the shop. We're really super excited about it. So I thought, Eva, you and I could play around with them a little bit and show some different project ideas using the color verse and uh, just have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. So here we go. Here are the four powders. If you're new to Color Burst, they are concentrated watercolor powders. So I'm just tapping them with my finger on the bottom of the bottle to release the powder from the bottle. And then I'm spraying it with my Ken Oliver water bottle. And look at that color just burst to life. I could play with this all day long, you guys. And actually, I have been. I've been playing like crazy. I have these watercolor pieces all over my office, and I'm starting to work them into cards, but it's just so much fun to play with. Now, this one I did a little different. I, I put the water down first, and then I sprinkled the powders on top. You can see that suede shoes has some purple in it as well. So it's always unexpected. You never quite know what you're going to get, kind of like a box of chocolates. So like any art form, the choice is up to you. You can use a lot of water, you can use a little water, you can move the color around with a paintbrush or by tilting your cardstock. You can even grab a paintbrush and paint with them. So I encourage you to experiment and have fun and see what you come up with. And when you do, I hope you'll share with us online. We can't wait to see what you're creating. So here are the sparkles. Now be sure to shake them before using them so that you get that good sparkle, sparkleness, sparkle, <laughs> that sparkle goodness all mixed in and throughout the whole medium. And so here, let's just take a look at that. I added some to this watercolor cardstock and then I'm just using a paintbrush. And that red is absolutely stunning and mixed with that gorgeous sparkle. It's a really cool look. So you can use this to add accents to your projects. You can create a whole background with it. You can, I was thinking this would be really cool to cut, um, to use a word dye and cut it out of this. So I've got kind of a, a yellow, orangey, red, you know, ombre look here and using a word dye to cut that out would be really gorgeous. Okay, so here is another one. I used the Samba in the Limoncello, and I just sprinkled the color burst onto the cardstock and added my water. And now I'm grabbing my heat tool and heating it. So this piece, I'm gonna add lots of layers of color. I'm gonna go back and forth between adding water, sprinkling on powder, heat setting it, moving it around, going back and forth, and it creates a lot of depth. So then I went back and I added more Samba. And to be honest with you, when I was doing this, I was wondering at what point was it going to be too much? And was there going to be like the point of no return where then I was going to end up regretting <laughs> all the layering that I did? But in the end, uh, I thought it came out really cool. And I did make this piece into a card. I did a holiday card and I will um, share that video in the next couple weeks. So... Uh, be on the lookout for it. 
Now for this next technique piece, I added a ton of water to this watercolor cardstock piece. And then I just did the Samba and Limoncello. And then I just grabbed my paintbrush and I started spreading the color around. No real plan here, just putting color down and having fun. Then I grabbed our new stencil called all linked up and I just added it right on top of this watercolor background and then I'm taking a paper towel and dabbing up all of the excess colored water. So then wherever the stencil piece was uh, or the stencil material is, it's going to stay darker. So you get this really cool kind of ghosted shadow look and then I just added a create in the your own sunshine and did um, a little strip of white down this side there and I thought that was really cool. Now to go along with our color burst release, we just had to release some new products. So we have four new stencils that all linked up, the polka heart, the bear grass, and the spotlight stencil. These stencils will be fantastic to go with your color burst as well as any inks in your collection already. So here are just a few samples using them. Some of them use the color burst and some just use stenciling with inks. And so you can see the versatility of them. So we also have some new stamps. So on the left, we have the Sandy background stamp. And on the right, we have the Rizzo background stamp. We also have dies to die cut the layers so that you can uh, stack these on top of each other and create fun dimension on your cards. So here are a few samples. This is Color Burst with the Sandy stamp. And then you can see the Limoncello Ice sparkles on there. And then this is the Rizzo background stamp with the um, Joseph's Coat technique. So do the watercolor background, do clear embossing over the top, and then sponge black. I have a video coming up showing you that as well. And then we have the Feelin' Hexy cover plate, which coordinates with our Hex Marks the Spot stamp set. And then we have the Garden Gate die. So here are a few more samples. I have a video coming up with some Garden Gate projects. And these, you'll see how to make all of these in that video. And then some samples with the Feeling Hexy die. So the uh, paired with the Two Can Do It stamp set is really cute. And then look at that inlaid die cutting card, just gorgeous. And then this one with the painting on the background there with the color burst, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then we have the Climbing Flowers background stamp. You guys, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be super popular. And I did an emboss resist technique here with the color burst and just added a sparkly thanks die on top. So I wanted to share just a few more color burst backgrounds that I made. These are already dry. They're laying all over my office, <laughs> begging to be made into cards. And I think they're just really, really cool. And I wanted to share all the different looks. This one looks like a galaxy background, doesn't it? So good times are ahead, everyone. You're going to have so much fun with these color bursts. We are so excited to have teamed up with Ken Oliver to bring Color Burst in Catherine Pooler colors to you. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. Restart it, you said, well, hey. What? <laughs> I didn't know we were doing this today. Basically, we're just coming out Let's... with some color bursts. <laughs> Stop. What? Ready? Where you'll find What do you want? You're acting yeah. you, Wait, you look really blurry. So, we are. We are. So, today is the big day. So, today is the big day that we add our new color. <laughs> <laughs>